Foldable wings have played an obscure part in aviation since its earliest days, when the Wright brothers used pulleys and levers to twist the trailing edges of wings. However, as planes got more sophisticated, these control systems became too cumbersome and heavy. After World War II, new technologies allowed folding wings to begin to be studied again. The 1960s North American XP-70 Valkyrie was one of the few attempts to incorporate this type of design. And as part of the new Spanwise Adaptive Wing, or SAW, project, NASA is now testing a lightweight shaped memory alloy that allows aircraft to fold their wings during flight. As seen here, the material is controlled by temperature. It's fashioned into a tube-shaped actuator that, when heated, twists and moves the wing's outer portion up or down up to 70 degrees. If successful, the SAW program could change aviation history, as the shape memory alloy can make aircraft fuel efficient, lighter, faster, and quieter. Airplane wings are typically designed for rigidity. After all, they must withstand the rigors of aviation and support massive loads in turbulent environments. However, their fixed position is not optimal for every aspect of flight. There are many different objects to solve for between takeoff, cruising, and landing phases. The possibility of creating an aircraft capable of folding its wings during flight in response to these situations motivated NASA scientists to develop the Spanwise Adaptive Wing Project program. The project was born as a joint effort between Armstrong, NASA's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Langley Research Center in Virginia, Boeing Research and Technology in St. Louis, and Area One Inc. in Kennesaw, Georgia. SAW aims to validate the use of a lightweight material able to fold the outer portions of aircraft wings to optimal angles in flight. NASA engineers believe this could create lateral directional stability and reduce drag during harsh flight conditions. SAW co-principal investigator Othman Benefan has said, quote, We wanted to see, can we move wings in flight? Can we control them to any position we want to get aerodynamic benefits out of them? And could we do it with this new technology? Folding wings have been done in the past, but we wanted to prove the feasibility of doing this using shape memory alloy technology, which is compact, lightweight, and can be positioned in convenient places on the aircraft. The shape memory alloy is built into an actuator on the aircraft, and it replaces many moving parts. The material can fold the outer portion of the wings during flight without the strain of a heavy hydraulic system. The alloy is controlled by temperature. It works by using thermal memory in a tube to move and function as an actuator. When heated, the alloy activates a twisting motion in the pipes, which consequently moves the wings outer portion up or down. This modern technology weighs up to 80% less than other traditional hydraulic systems, making aircraft considerably lighter, faster, and fuel efficient. On subsonic aircraft, such as commercial airliners, the aerodynamic benefit of folding the wings includes increased controllability. This would result in a reduced dependency on heavier parts of the plane, including the tail rudder. This should result in a more fuel efficient aircraft and the ability for future long-winged aircraft to taxi in airports. Regarding supersonic aircraft, SAW Principal Investigator Matt Moholt said, quote, There's a lot of benefit in folding the wingtips downward to sort of ride the wave in supersonic flight, including reduced drag. Through this effort, we may be able to enable this element to the next generation of supersonic flight, to not only reduce drag but also increase performance as you transition from subsonic to supersonic speeds. This is made possible using shape memory alloy. To test the technology, NASA turned to Area 1 to operate an autonomous flight testbed called Prototype Technology Evaluation Research Aircraft, or Pitera. Pitera took off from Edwards Air Force Base with its wings at zero degree deflection. The testbed was flown in a racetrack pattern in which the necessary maneuvers for the research could be done. During the maneuvers, onboard controllers heated and cooled the saw actuators, folding the wing panels to different angles. For the test flights, the wingtips were rigged to fold downward, while later flights featured rearranging the hardware to achieve a 70-degree upward deflection. Wing folding maneuvers were achieved in flight within three minutes each. NASA also carried out research into wing flaps and has found that making them from flexible materials could boost flying efficiency and cut aircraft noise. 
Project manager Kevin Weinert has concluded that, quote, I see this being something that may be integrated into aviation within the next 10 years, as reducing noise for communities around airports is a goal of aircraft manufacturers. Now, engineers are working to scale up the technology flown in Pitera to be used on the wings of an F-18.